So what we have behind me here is a giant anteater. I know nothing about the animal. I have a bowl full of eggs and I'm gonna go in with the giant anteater and try and feed it. It looks pretty harmless, but the, the claws on it are about three or four inches long. And uh, yeah, I'm not too psyched on this one. What do you mean put egg on me somewhere? I just want to go to Buenos Aires and get drunk. But I'm stuck with this giant pain in the ass anteater. Well, I'm giving it a chance to lick me, but I'm not giving it a chance. Oh boy, that's a definite sign of anger. Just stay put, stay put, stay put, stay put. I'm not staying put, the fucking thing's advancing. Because you keep retreating. <laughs> I have some egg, and I'm going to try and feed the giant ant eater. There you go. Okay, now I have nothing left to offer it. <laughs> I am out of egg. So I couldn't seem to get the giant ant eater mad at me so I brought in some high-profile agitators. As the sun sets over the Argentinian zoo, the wild boys find themselves in a cage with a peculiar beast. Giant anteater. <laughs> this bastard is keeping us from getting drunk and doing naughty things. That's why we hate you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, grab its nose. Touch its nose. Come on, Chris. Grab the nose, tug and rub. Tug and rub. Come on, Chris. Give it a little tug. <laughs> pull it. Push and pull. Tug and rub. He keeps moving his nose, though. Wait, wait. wait. Oh, All man. right. He's decided to retire. Nope. Lock him up for good, Chris. Throw away the key. This animal belongs in jail. <laughs>